Let's see what Little Miss Kirora has for us to do. So, are you all set? Ready to start investigating? Yeah, just about three weeks late. Yeah, I'll be right back. Now nah, we're good. Great! Let's go! I've delivered packages all over, but I've never seen a mysterious fairy tale world like this before. No shit, most times they don't really exist. They'd be cooped up in a box to find this damn place. Looks like nobody has gotten around to repairing this house yet. Ugh, even I wouldn't dare to sleep in there. It might suddenly collapse in on you. I don't know, what are you point? Nothing to see here either. Maybe we can find someone to ask? Here, let your paper mache house collapse. Aha! Uh -huh. Over there! I bet we'll find some people there. Let's go take a look! What's all those animations, bro? Putting their default animations in here does not count as actual animation. Give them a unique overworld animation. Uh-huh. I was sure there'd be people here. There once was a goddess who ruled over fate. Before she died, she left three riddles for the kingdom she had created. I know why we're gonna what? voice of God type. Who beat. said that? Long story short, on this day a sentient feline, an outlander, and a uh, diminutive pixie arrived on the scene. Diminutive pixie. They saw a narrow path off to the side. Okay, but which side? Yeah. If you gave ambiguous instructions like that to a Comania Express courier, they'd give you the parcel right back and tell you to write the delivery address more clearly. Despite how obvious the answer was, the perplexed pixie and the flummoxed feline struggled to work it out. Hmm. Although, perhaps a small part of the blame could be attributed to my dull narration. All right, let's uh, try this again. <clears throat> the path on the left-hand side seemed to give off an enticing fragrance, as if to say, uh, this is the way to wealth and glory. Ooh, that sounds like the start of a good story. Then what? Then what? Oh, great. Stanley Parable as voice of God. At the end of the path, the motley crew would soon spot a secret stone room. A prophecy had once foretold of a Marquis who shall one day venture inside, and thus it is named the Future Marquis Abode. Uh, are you sure you don't want to hear the rest? No, <laughs> I'm going to be moving too fast for you, Nerio. I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose, per the legends, is to await the arrival of a certain Marquis. For that reason, it's called the Future Marquis Abode to be. A second. Oh, hear me out, all right? I'm sorry for resorting to extreme measures, but I'm trying oh, to help. Is he gonna want us to hear Don't this worry. story? Fencing will disappear as soon as I'm done talking. Oh, no. So, are you some sort of fence spawning yokai? Well, nope. I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose, per the legends, is to await the arrival of a certain marquee. For that reason, it's called the Future Marquis Abode to Be. Uh, secondly, when you get inside, don't sit on the chair in the center, or bad things will happen. There, that's all. Off you go. Why could you sit up fast? <clears throat> so many summers, winters, springs, and falls, and now, at last, a hero hither strides. This realm knows not what lies beyond its walls. Its secrets mystify the world outside. Oh boy, what's this got to say? In the name of the elders of the three tribes, we hereby form this pact. Now from this day forth, the people shall harm no one another no more. No, no, no. As golden sunlight it's fills the firmament, the, the table up and grows your attend. Perhaps, perchance, okay. peruse these pages' things. They surely represent... Captivated by the epic poetry. And enthralled by the outstanding storytelling. The album. Why is any reading oh, files did. on the desk? Hey, Boberano, maybe quit showing off and try using words he'll actually understand. I can either rhyme like a bard, or I can curse like a sailor. And right now, Cafe, you are seriously tempting me towards the ladder. What is happening? Strong as stone, firm as steel. The outlander pulls, but it does not yield. This has happened many times before. But this time is different. 
A thought enters the Outlander's mind. Attack! Attack! First weaken the structure, then seize the treasure! Namely, to remove the clockwork key from the raised platform up ahead. The attack now over! Only one final step remains! Now it is the time to seize the key! Wait a minute. Kabe, I just realized you said... Stop the poem! We have a situation. Something's up with this person. Traveler? Uh, are you alright? It turns out there's glue on the seat. Come on, you can do it! This can't be how our story ends! Bro, I glued my ass to the seat, bro. That's why I get patrolling the fucking narrator. I mean a lot to you. Can I give you a hand or a tail, even? Slice, slice a blade underneath the glue to cut it through. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's one standard for us and another for you. But alas, as was the case for all those who had come before, the key oh, still wait, did not I'm, I'm butchering this story. Wait, what? They got it out? Yes! Finally! Come on, move your butts! And your legs, assuming they're still in working order. It's showtime! No hard feelings about your lack of poetic contributions? Oh, let it go! But alas, as was the case for all those who had come before, ah, the welcome, key still esteemed did not and noble outlander, allow Wait, us to they got it out. ourselves. We represent the three great clans Jesus of this realm, Christ, this having story. been selected as its authorized historical supervisors. Right. Our purpose being to await the arrival of one such as yourselves who shall remove the clockwork key. My name is. Your cape, he's Albizzi, and that's Bobarano, right? You've done so much talking that we can already tell you apart by your voices. Aren't we missing someone, though? The guy who led us here to begin with? Yeah, who was that? Who? Who? <clears throat> and thus was born the long awaited fellowship, destined to uncover the truth of the past. Allow me to quote, if I may, in the history of Constellation Metropole, a new page has begun. Interesting. Him. Yeah, well, yeah. there's no fourth person, so which of you is the ventriloquist? Come on, out with it. We've never heard that voice before, but he sounds like he'd be good at reading bedtime stories to children. Whoever it is, I don't know and I don't care. Nice. Forget about him. Thank you. We have far more important things to focus on. Like, where our journey goes from here. That key you hold is the pivot point about which the past and present of the Metropole revolve. However, between our three clans, there is some dispute over the historical record. Is that so? Each clan has its own version of history, detailing the clan's origins and the tale of the dragon of old. And unfortunately, we don't know which one is the truth. Sounds like Notlin's fault. You mean the one that's been acting up recently? Legendary item, oh, multiple no, tribes, no, 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 not wanting that to one, claim. You adorable little pixie. The truth? When I say dragon of old, <laughs> he means a dragon that would be really, really old if it was still with us today, but it was defeated in ancient times. The new one has nothing to do with our clan history. Uh, was that supposed to be a joke? <clears throat> uh, anyway, so you've been waiting for someone to remove the key so you can finally explore the truth of the past? Also, are they implying that there's an even older dragon than the one that was already fucking shit up that was built into this world? Never heard of that. Not just explore it, but argue incessantly about it. Honestly, I don't care that much. Cafe's the one who's always bothering us about it. Also, it's pretty good, uh, foreshadowing by uh, telling for uh, Notland stuff. An old dragon. Everyone's gonna assume the current dragon's like, no, 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 we mean the sovereign. What we need to figure out is who resolved the dragon crisis. We have to know that before we can decide which is the supreme clan. The moment you removed the key from where it was lodged, you became the honorary marquis. We humbly beseech you, noble outlander. Always become an honor or something. And with the inclusion of the ending part of this quest, not the, the, la the ending part of the quest, we know the Traveler is not the main character of the story. So, when we have stuff like this, 
noble travelers on our own. We ask you to help us. Never, you never and your direct, like uh, your talking puss in boots and the pale floating pixie. Puss in boots? Are you serious? Yeah, you got sued for that one. It's better than demon feline, but still. Demon feline. Embrace it, my friend. Embrace it. Most cats don't wear boots or speak, do they? I'm not even a cat. I'm a Nekomata. Now that you know the word, I expect you to use it. Please allow me to lead you all to a sacred memorial site. It will be much easier to explain what needs to be done. Also, the fact that they just know that she's like a feline person. I know she gives off the traits, she has the tail, and the ears. I just. Everyone in here is perfectly this fine. This place is sacred to my clan. It's where our brave forefathers once took up arms against the dragon of old. After a bitter battle that dragged on for many days and nights, finally, our forefathers fought the dragon into submission, and it fled. They took turns, though. Some forefathers worked the day shift, while others worked the night shift. Day and night shift fighting a dragon? Must have been one hell of a dragon. So they say. It's just a legend, though. Wait a second. Did I just hear you admit that your clan's history is just a legend? A history, legend, who cares? My clan was definitely courageous, that's the point. That's the truth. And isn't the truth what we've all been arguing about non-stop for all these years? Cabe's words gave the Traveler food for thought. Could it be that the truth in a fictional world is equivalent to fiction in the real world? Oh no. But that would have to wait. Apparently, yeah, Cafe was not alone topic. in his pilgrimage to this sacred site. Unwanted company had arrived. Oh, here the doing. traveler and the talking cat. Calm you into every dimension. Nekomata decided to teach them some manners. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 True display of heroism and valor. It was as if the spirits of my ancestors were fighting through. Uh, be wrong. Yeah, but they Your martial wrong. prowess and show of courage are a more vivid reenactment of my ancestors' feats that suit the modern aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, like now, a let's get down modern to aesthetic to your combat. As we all know. Time is you, but an Wow, illusion. that perspective. Time may flow line by line, page by page, or frame by frame, but usually it flows in the form of springs and gears. It usually flows pretty linearly, but okay. And that clockwork key you have in your hand can turn back time and make the past reappear. Well, actually, my view is that the illusion of time is more of a problem of consciousness. Gears power the body, while the body is the vessel of the conscious mind. But the mind cannot understand the dimension of time, so we experience instead an endless continuum of moments as the pinion of now turns along the rack of ages. I... I'm That's getting sorry. flashbacks to when I was uh, delivering yeah. packages to the Sumeru Academia. A teacher once asked Albizzi, what his greatest fear was, and he replied, dragons. Boberano was asked the same question. He replied, time, and repeated the argument we just heard. The teacher then turned to Cape and posed the same question. He replied, Boberano. Okay, the manuscript that tells the truth of the historical record, the blueprint to all of creation, the work of the great mage themselves, it can be found at the beginning of the gear rack, and on the very first page of the book. Uh, Paimon didn't follow all that, but basically, you're just saying that we need to put the key in and turn it all the way back? Exactly. It is said that in the beginning, the goddess of creation took the goddess of fate's manuscript as a blueprint, placed it under the goddess of prophecy's starry realm, and generated the world from a few magic arrays. That sounds boring. So in a few moments, when the great clockwork key turns the local time here back to the very beginning, we will restore the magic arrays back to their original configurations. What does that mean? Hold on. Is stealing part of the blueprint of creation a little dangerous? Also, how are we supposed to know the original configurations of the magic arrays? Ah, uh, well, the general shapes of the configurations have been passed down over the ages. They now form the family crests of each of our clans. 
So you'll just need to reference my family crest and join the dots accordingly. We're gonna do this two more times for you to zone. Like that? To address your other concern, when the house has already been built, do you really think that taking away the construction crew and blueprint will cause it to collapse? The Traveler Marquis prepares to insert the Great Clockwork Key into the nearby Great keyboard. Clockwork Dick. Okay. So let's see the truth of this map. Whoa, 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 whoa. We start down here, I guess. I guess we yeah. should start here? Yeah, I guess we should start there. Yes, Kira. Yeah. Can we make a nice... Whoa! This is really tricky compared every time. We're dying. Okay, we go here, then we go there. Hey, I was trying to get the... Behold, the sacred writings that record the truth of... No, wait. That have shaped the truth of history. Shaped it? Gather round and let us bear witness. It is, it is or isn't the truth. Brave Rikosis Master Haystack. Put to a fork, cleanse it, it tines down. Oh, God. Down the mountain top behind him with a large bright moon. He shattered the names of everyone. The chief. village chief was the first to be named. So frightened he was... That he wished to climb up the haystack and stop friend I don't know, say that Francois, Francois Louise, French Quise. Ah, oh, fuck I said I don't speak French. Are you crazy? You're yelling so loudly the dragon might shut you good for nothing. Have you seen the windmill? Everyone built has been destroyed by the dragon, yet here you are, worrying if it'll return. Francois, 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 Francois. Francois. Really would have loved to kick them off the haystack, but he held to given he held back given the chief too was right about the villager's safety. Francois saw that the that nigh all the villagers have arrived, and so he cleared his throat. Dear neighbors and kin, think you still that we must endure this? No, of course not, but we cannot do anything about the dragon, said the grocer. Who says so? I did not leap onto this into this neck. Leap onto its neck from the windmill blades, stepping on it twice, and did it not fall down and flee? Perhaps everyone worked so hard to build the mill that was destroyed because everyone's emotions became inflamed. Am I... I think their fists, they decide to take, decide to, hmm, I guess, take down the dragon? And Francois lifted his own hands and calmed the, the crowd. Let's go home for today, everyone. Let's go home for today. Everyone's present. <laughs> everyone's present lack of self-preservation is not bravery, but rather wrath. If we desire to face danger after calming ourselves, only then when we truthfully call ourselves sentiment valor. So everyone went home. The next day, there were so many youngsters who wished to follow Francois and take on the dragon. Who would have known that the Valiant possesses the protection of the goddess's radiant charter? Encountering the true valor, the dragon could not either spout fire nor slash with his claws, but was forced to allow the other party to call pauses and switch personnel. And so, after several days and nights of fierce fighting, the wicked dragon could no longer bear it and chose to surrender. Interesting. So rather than, he got them fired up saying, we gotta defeat the dragon, and everyone's like, yeah, let's go kill it. He's like, wait, wait, wait. Come back tomorrow, gear up, and those of you who still want to fight, who literally who slept on it, are the truly the brave ones, and the dragon won't be able to defeat us then. Very interesting. Feast your eyes, rejoice, and cheer, for this is the unquestionable truth. Look at the signature. Nobody is capable of forging that. Look at the signature. That. I don't believe it. So, all along, our histories have been false? Don't lose heart, Albizzi. It does not follow from his is true that ours are false. That might be the most bogus logic I've ever heard. But keep up the mental gymnastics, Boberano. I've been waiting for that look of jealousy on your face my whole life, and I'm going to savor it. <laughs> and yet, it seemed that this conundrum could indeed have more than one solution. Yeah, your truth is not Everyone equal, my agreed that there may be more than one truth. 
The party decided to visit the sacred sites of the other clans and see what their documents had to say. Isn't a narrator supposed to remain detached and objective? It feels like you're forcing a narrative agenda on us here. Well, whatever. I'm in a good mood. Let's do it. The instructions say to repeat the process three times, and besides, I'm looking forward to watching you both be sorely disappointed. Let's do my clan next. I'll lead the way. Oh, boy. We'll Let's need the key again, right? Yep. Let me see if I can pull it out. Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. Mine now. Yoink. Try hard. Mine now. The clan shits in the middle of the city. <laughs> That's me. Let's check it out. Let's see what secrets we can get. So Valor is the act of party finds understanding no what you have to do to place the great clockwork key. Only a locked door. Let's put on the door. Where's your clan's pedestal? Oh, let me guess, you hid it away in advance to save yourself the embarrassment of having it exposed as a fake? You done? Okay. Now, since my clan's main claim to fame is... <laughs> Misinformation, half-truths, and fabrication. Ah, shut up, Cape! Shut, shut up, Cape! Everyone hit him with that, bro. <laughs> Jesus. I swear, if I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Bo Barano. Let those be my last words. <laughs> quirky ass My toys, clan's bro. claim to fame is that we outwitted the dragon of old and stole its treasure. Ergo, all articles of value that we own, including the pedestal for the clockwork key, lie behind that door. So, next step is open the door? Yeah. Almost. There's one step before that. The door is protected by a smart interrogation system. We have to answer its questions, and if we get them wrong, we will alert law enforcement. Jeez! Well, do you at least know the answers? Here's your clan. The correction fluid of time has dyed white the pages of the Book of Wisdom. Uh, no. I no, I don't know the answers. Fantastic. But worry not. I had a quick word with the constabulary in advance. They'll ignore the alarm if we get the questions wrong, so answer without fear. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see if we can answer some questions. Question one. Who is it? Well, we can't really get that wrong, so... The great yokai, Nekomata in boots. And the trusty travel guide, Pixie! A uh, travel guide. Trusty travel guide! Question two. By which virtue did the ancients defeat the dragon? Valor. Oh, I guess they're ancients. Hard work and wealth, courage and strength, wisdom. If they outsmart it, it would be wisdom. If this is the right answer, I swear I'll... Correct! What? Ugh. A bare-faced lie. So low. Question three. Yeah, he was gonna say Which valid. is more real? The fiction of the outside world or the truth of this world? Interesting. A fiction of the outside world. It's, they keep using that line, a fiction of the outside world, acknowledging that the outside world in and of itself is fake. Which makes you wonder. But the truth of this world doesn't invalidate the falsehood of the outside world, and the falsehood of the outside world doesn't invalidate the truth of this world. Here, here. Who can be sure that the outside world isn't just a dream? And that when the dreamer wakes up, they won't just find themselves inside a novel. That's there a is no way to know. Therefore, both are equally real. What a great quest to finish the uh, All correct. summer of Anon. You may have the key pedestal. Traveler Marquis, you know what must be done. Please insert the great clockwork key. You got it. Oh, another. and uh, this is my family crest. What's it going a very simple one. Shape of wisdom. Shape of power, wisdom. This is gonna be the damn Triforce. Okay. Oh, do we 
really need this one? Yeah. Let's say, let's say, take a little look. It's up, right, right. Where do we go up? Unless. Did we do this one? Away. No, you don't. You go here. I mean, it doesn't look right. There's no way this is right. It's way too small. The Traveller Marquis draws a design that is practical and aesthetically pleasing in equal measure. One thing it is not, however, is correct. I think you should take another look at Boberano's family crest and have another go. Up. Right, right, right. Not done yet. No, like, yeah, this, this, it can't be this. Because it doesn't work, obviously. Right? Reset. Hello. She's right that do we really need this one? Cause look how it's designed. You need to get a straight line and then you need to curve it around. Now the way to get that would be you had this and curved it to the right. But you can only connect what else can I connect it to? That's my question. How do you reset? Yeah, how do you reset? Oh that's when I open the door. Interesting. I can't reset. I'm gonna try something real quick. Obviously this isn't. Because obviously that doesn't fucking work. No shit. How do you reset? You said you can reset it by talking to the Oracle. But that doesn't really make sense. Uh-oh. I read it, it said how to reset it, and it just... I don't know how to reset it. And eventually, you can connect all of them, and it'll just turn itself off, won't it? Uh-oh. I love when they give us ba barely instructions that don't work. My favorite. We have to work in reverse. So, if we're looking at this, we're starting essentially. We'll find it. Then it would go here. Would it? In the diagonals? This fetches the T. That's not it. What? I guess that is it. Yeah, I guess that is it. Now, let me oh, see what like what elaborate fiction the Clan of Wisdom was able to conjure up. If anyone's listening, I would like to submit these as my last words. I surrender. I'm the one who murdered Tappe. Lovely. Why is Antonio? In the basement of the crumbling house, began reading of ancient book. He had found his oil lamp shook from time to time, showing structures above ground collapsed. The village, the village was to be symbolically raised, symbolically raised by the dragon. <laughs> How do you, like, through symbolism raise a village? Whatever. Or it's supposed to represent. What does it represent by him destroying the village? Actually. Anyways, by the dragon, and he had been chosen by the dragon. For he had not returned home, but Antonio did not care. He only wished to study the book the old lady had given him on the bridge that he passed it. This book was titled Radiant, what was it, Radiant Charter, and within the was recorded all the rules of every being in Simulacra. 
all the rules that all every being in Simulacra must follow. It was written in the language of the world's creation at the very start, and if Antonio was not, and if Antonio was not possessed of extraordinary wisdom and deciphered this primordial text, there have been no study to be had. This book recorded no solutions as to resolving the difficulty of the constellation satellite. Sati, sati, li, li, satellite presently faced, nor did it contain any hexes that could aid Antonio in repairing his own. But he knew that the wisdom was the mightiest thing in the world. The morning light shone through the ruins of his home, and the neighboring blacksmith and chubby chief took great pains to get rid of the house's wreckage, which he blocked the basement hatch. With dark circles about his eyes, Antonio said to the chubby chief, I shall defeat the dragon. I will return soon. Are you sure you're all right? You don't look like you got any sleep. Just smoke from the oil lamp. Don't worry about it. The dragon sat atop a mountain, treasure gazing down at instant. Mountain of treasures gazing down at insignificant little Antonio walking closer. Flames gathered in its throat, trying to burn the area one centimeter before him. All the better to scare this puny, foolish creature away. Halt. On the qualified second class meister, in the reigning shiner states that you. That you sh <laughs> that shit, I, I refuse a duel, you cannot use force. This restriction does indeed exist. And so the wicked dragon swallowed its flames whole. Ah, how it, uh, how it dreaded going to the toilet tomorrow. Antonio, for his part, had not expected the second class rule clearing Meister qualification exam he had taken on a lark would become useful. And since I am second class Meister, I propose a duel of riddles. You cannot refuse. Now, Simulanka had had such a law, mainly in the benefit of sphinxes, old sages, and princesses who wished to make a life hard for others. <laughs> the evil dragon had not expected this world to catch up with it. I shall ask the first question. My house sold for 8,000 more yesterday, and I thought there were. I, and I thought there was room to raise the price, so I bought it back for 9,000, planning to sell it for 10,000. How much more did I lose in the end? The dragon laughed in content. What's so hard about that? You could have waited until you hit 10,000 and made your move, but you sold it for 8. Then you bought it for 9, so you lost 1,000 more. That you could have earned a cent. Wrong. You burned my house down yesterday. I couldn't sell it on time, so I lost far more. Sorry, I mean, I do have, I do have to burn a house, and you happen to not be home. Wait, so he literally, it's like rule bound symbolically. Oh, I, I got like, listen, bro, it's a part of my nature. I have to burn a house. And since you're the only one who wasn't home, that's what it meant. So he literally had to. Hang on. Sorry about that. So I might as well hit one that doesn't result in any loss of life. Now that you've been lost this contest, I have the right to loot the same value as your life, minus one more. And considering that you burned my house, I can seek damage. Let's assume that my house is worth just one more. Well, well, wicked dragon, you know what to do with yourself. Please spare me, I'll give you anything. Your word is your words, not mine, Antonio said as he pulled out a contract he had written long ago. Thus, Antonio used his wisdom to take all the evil dragon's treasures. The dragon devastated whenever I again I returned to attack Constellation Satellite, where Antonio lived. Many years later, a child asked Antonio, You sold your place for 8,000, spent 9,000 buying it back. So it looks like you actually did lose 10,000 more. Huh? <sighs> look! Look! My clan's history is true as well! Ah, there's that same unforgeable signature again! Right here! What? Homie bodied a dragon. Oh, really clapped him in high Does this ends. mean that my clan is the only odd one out? Given that my clan's wisdom is such a subject of ridicule in your eyes, I will now appeal to my own personal intelligence, which I believe far surpasses that of my clan at large, and make a prediction. It seems likely that the claims made by each of our clans regarding their history and virtue are all true. Oberano? How can that be? Because they all coincide oh, with the truth. I get what's going on. Once, when I was drinking with Guji Yai, she bet me a round of dried fish that I couldn't guess which cup the umeboshi was under. Whichever one I guessed, I was always wrong, and Guji Yai would lift a different cup to reveal the umeboshi. But then, I learned later from one of the shrine maidens, Miyuki, that all of the cups had an umeboshi under them. <sighs> Just goes to show, I still got a long way to go before I become a great yokai. Oh, don't Trickster. mind, Fox Lady. That's Is just he... her way of teasing you. I got tricked. Actually, that reminds me. We can now open these three treasure chests. And unlike the guessing game you mentioned, this one's not a trick. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, once you've plundered the last of Boberano's family wealth, we can go to my clan's place. That's true, bro. I'm just gonna steal his family's wealth. 
Fuck it. He doesn't need it. Guess I'll take the clockwork key again then. Yoink. Yoink. Try hard. Mine now. What a great group of uh, adventurers. adventurers. <laughs> oh, we're staying in the city. Here I thought we were going to be leaving. Interesting. His clan, the only clan that fought. Into the wind. The dollar to fight. Plus the ones that are out. In the wild. Look at that. Didn't even jump high. Huh? Damn game. Let's get a roll on. Hey, this got no rail guards on this big ass path along the side. That's dangerous. Take it easy. The cohort of truth seekers followed Albizzi to his clan's secret seekers. site. Albert they arrived to the site of a giant guard towering over them. Up ahead is my clan's gigantified guard. He can be a little pig-headed, and he's incredibly strong. Your weapons won't even scratch him. Pig-headed and incredibly Wait, strong. My but wasn't Cathay's clan the one this. that's all about strength? So, what do you guys believe in then? Oh, the guard is one of Cafe's people. Size is a coveted trait in the clan of strength, after all. Mine is the clan of empathy, and our key contribution is... Growth Serum! What's empathetic about that? That's it. Our ancestors believed that, just maybe, the dragon of old didn't mean us any harm at all. Perhaps the dragon simply didn't notice us, since we are so very tiny. So, they drank the growth serum and grew even larger than the dragon. Then, they set the dragon down, calmly explained their perspective, and eventually taught it how to empathize. Is that so? Uh... The serum isn't what it once was, though. Nowadays, it doesn't make you grow all that much, and it actually makes you lose your empathy. So, I advise we take a detour. What? Despite Albizzi's words of caution, somebody, no doubt, has other ideas. Surely we could avoid a... Everyone, I have returned. I come with the long-awaited Marquis and their Blood followers to the search church. for the lost origins of our clan. Well, we weren't told anything about that this morning. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Oh, okay. He's pick us up and throw us out. Ah. <sighs> You and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard. But since greeting you wasn't one of the items included in today's schedule, the relationship quickly soured. If you're just looking... Why is my own clan treating me like a villain? We've been away too long. We all have. Feels like we've been waiting forever. God, his voice. What if I heard his voice before? We should be getting close. Why is this place so full of junk? Are you the kind of people who never throw away the box when you buy something because you're worried you won't be able to return it without the original packaging? Uh, we'll never find the Oracle that? Pillars oh. in all this mess. It's right there. Never mind that. We have a more pressing issue. It seems there's a slight problem with my clan's family crest. The Marquis may need to utilize their wisdom to solve the issue. Lovely. I got it. Wisdom too, huh? Well, you guys have a bit of everything, don't you? Strength, empathy, Except wisdom. Except empathy. Over here! I found it! As if it was hidden. Yes! Keep the noise down! We don't want to alert the guard. I'll, uh... I'll go keep watch. Can't you destroy the boxes a little more quietly? <laughs> I probably could. That's it. Where's it gonna force us to stop? So we're starting from a corner. Let's see. We're starting from... Where can we go diagonally? 
because all the more diagonals except for this. And this one isn't going unless we're angling it that this is off here. No, because it doesn't matter. We can't we can't go from the middle. It has to go around. So if we start, we have to go diagonal. Where are we starting from? I thought we were starting from here. But not, that might not be where we're starting. We're not starting from here either. Unless we are. And where could this one? This was to go. Like if I did this. I mean, that's a line. No, because I can't wrap. It has to go diagonal. And this one going here doesn't work either. Because it would go like this. Apparently that was incorrect. But so, don't blame yourself. It's Albizzi's clan's fault for taking terrible care of their family crest. How could they let something so important just, get so dirty? These are close. Oh, oh, oh. Only well, two angles we can go, anyway. Well, actually, we could go here. No, well, I don't think this. Where can I go from here? You certainly could go diagonal from here, but you want to go diagonal straight. So you make a straight line and go. And then, boop. Boop! Could that work? No, right? That would make... No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's not, there's not enough to go around. Unless... No, that's not how this looks at all. No, this isn't working. No, that's not how it looks. So that was that one. No, that was this one. No, that was the other one. Straight. That's not how that works either. Let's do straight. The joy of puzzles. Everyone's favorite. Nope. Oh, hit the Z key. Okay. Knock it off. I will let the winners get like 400 fucking times. I hate perspective based puzzles. This is the last one. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my god. Galileo Alberto did many good deeds again today. Though it was the most tiring to help the old lady on the bridge move her barrels of hard apple slider. They each got a small barrel as their reward. Moonlight was unobstructed and beautiful. And the two good friends climbed up high in the wall. Blah, 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 blah. Look at his big house. Yeah, you're wrong. It's my home. House is that one. Yeah, yeah whatever. There's a little hard work trying to fix the wall, but we're not fussed on it anyways. Chubby Chief said, are you sure that you're not bragging when you said you knocked it down by yourselves? Of course, that's the Chief's point. He was too good a person. He continued, also, it's too dangerous. So you got the dragon alone. Don't worry about us. Two best friends and the whole world rolled apart. The evil dragon trembled before Alberto and Galilee. For some reason, the old lady's liquor can make people grow very, very large. It was how they accidentally squashed the high walls of the previous night. And they glazed down at the ground far below. They were more or less understood how the dragon thought. No wonder it could accidentally destroy the village at its feet. So as long as they could get the dragon to know some people, it could surely come to their understanding. Two friends just drank their magic cider, becoming even larger than the dragon. By a good margin. Reeking of alcohol, they sandwiched the dragon between them. They drunkly tried reasoning with it. The dragon rolled up in terror. <laughs> All of its majesty and 
and fell or gone forever gone. Indeed, it even looks kind of pitiful. Although it's intended to pick dirt off the scales of the dragon's back, it wound up picking off an entire scale. The dragon stopped the flea, but Galileo, fearing that the crisis might persist for 10,000 years more if the mystery was not cleared up, tugged the dragon's and dragged it right back. To be honest, we always lived under your feet. We're far, we are far too small, so you may not have ever seen us. Now that we've transformed and become big, so now surely you must know that we dwell at your feet. The dragon nodded repeatedly, and thus did not did the two the dragon chat all night. And believing the goal of mutual understanding is you. The signature. So, so it's true. Accidentally destroying Empathy their village, the they realized we should get constellation big. Metropole too. Go talk to the dragon. Scare the shit out of suspected. It. All three are the truth. Uh, uh, okay. Well, this is a lot to process. I feel a little empty inside. Yes, we found the truth, but there's too much truth. Too much truth? I get you. It's like, the it's ocean like in Inazuma, when there were only six books in the Mirage Warrior series, it was really popular. But by the time book number 88 came out, nobody wanted to read it. They all lost interest. A brief moment of joy Jesus is drowned baby. out by a growing feeling of melancholy. But perhaps there is a glimmer of hope to be found too? Anyone? Anyone? All right, I'll say it. How is it the case that these three versions of history can all be true at once? Because never were true to begin with. That's exactly what Paimon was wondering, but Boborano kind of already explained it away earlier. So Paimon was worried she'd look stupid for asking the question. All right, Paimon, yours is stupid. It's not a stupid What's question at all, my dear little pixie. While I did postulate that different truths may coexist, there is an issue when it comes to these three truths in particular. The problem is, all three truths are the history of the exact same thing, namely the dragon and the Metropole's origins. Yet all three bear the signature, showing that they're genuine. Yeah, bro. Bob lost his fucking. The sound of a bell rings out. Oh, the bell ringing out. Bro. The bell! It rang once! What does that mean again? Ah, yes! Highest level of emergency! Everyone to the main entrance! Stat! Bring all the glue traps and place them outside the gates! The whole city is on the lookout, and there's only one way out. It's the path right in front of you. Very nice, bro. The path right in front of you. Why'd they ring the bell anyway? Also, why is one ring the highest level of emergency? <laughs> They're outside! After them! Well, they fortify the whole damn city. What for? Can they even use magical stream lines? No, they get they're blocked by it. The only we could. What? What did they exactly? They ring them up, or what happened? We made it out. Don't know if we'll still be needing this clockwork key, but I yoinked it out before we ran, just in case. Okay, but Very back good. to the truth problem. There are three conflicting versions of the truth, and somehow they're all still true. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I doubt oh, anyone here lovely. in Simulanka can make sense of it. Yeah, you have all we do know is good. that any manuscript bearing her signature has to be valid. Well, she is the goddess of fate, the creator of all this. And all these manuscripts are her grand design. Well, there's three dragons. The reason the dragon we argued about who times. was right was that we didn't know enough about the truth of the past. But now we have the truth. So we just have to accept it. Not Lin War. As surely Not Lin War, as we Lord. will follow the clockwork Six tries path designed for us, to find the truth. so is this the course that history has taken. It is clear and incontrovertible. We will never argue again. Ah, thank you all. Is that all there is to it? Is this where the decision made at the first crossroads of destiny has led us to? A pointlessly happy ending? Who is the narrator? Uh, overthinking it would be equally pointless. Well, that's enough for one day. Time to take a break. Could you be any more cryptic? You're planning something! Paimon knows it! Whatever happens, today was a breakthrough in my journey of discovery. I will go back and share it with my clan. Me too. 
Hi. And me. We discovered the truth. Let's leave it there for today. For you, but you can't even go back. I'm sure we'll find out what else Mr. Narrator has planned for us tomorrow. Oh, is the quest actually com uh, continue? That's actually annoying. Oh, okay. What could possibly be happening tomorrow? Oh, what day? Is they're gonna bring the facts to their clans and their clans aren't gonna accept it, even though the truth is all of the things? What a beautiful day, thought the traveler, before he was overcome by a creeping sense of foreboding. The pendulum lane is just up ahead! Something must have happened here after all, everyone's crowded around! He actually got murdered! Oh my god, this is terrible! I don't understand. The three great clans of Constellation Metropole have finally made peace with each other. Who could have done this? The narrator. What happened? Oh no, someone's lying on the ground. Cape! How did this happen? The guy killed Cape, him. you idiot! Wake up! You need to revise your last words or everyone's gonna start suspecting me! Last words? What did he say? Ahem. <clears throat> if I wind up dead one day... The murderer was Boberano. Thank you, Alvin. You could have at least pretended to not remember it. Thank you, Alvin. I'm sorry, Boberano, but this is an interrogation. I have to give the detective straight answers. No, it isn't. He's... Nah, don't worry, Boberano. I don't consider you a suspect, nor do I have the authority to charge anyone with a crime. So are you the last people to have had contact with him? Yeah. My sincere condolences. You were travel companions, right? I mean, it's a real tragedy. Yeah, murder I'm afraid business. he'll be out cold for another hour and a half, at least. Oh, so he's not even dead? Huh? Yeah, I know. It's despicable. Hitting someone in the back of the head is the second worst act of cruelty there is. The first being replacing their gear oil with extra strong glue. So... Cappy's... not dead? Uh, his gears, metal frame and shell are all still in excellent condition. Just his uh, energy supply that's been all messed up. Oh, they can't uh, die anyway. The protection stops them. Surely you can't be suggesting that just because Cape isn't broken, there's no need to go looking for the culprit. No, no! There's a need! Huge need! Yeah, unfortunately, this is rapidly turning into a cold case. There's no evidence and no witnesses. Uh, unless there's an official clockwork pedestal, the goddess of prophecy around here somewhere. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Is he gonna walk off and then it? suddenly the yeah, long lost okay, dragon of old flew across the sky? Where? Where? Uh, I didn't see anything. Wait, why can't I move? No, oh, my mistake. It was just a cloud, or a bird, or something. No, oh, what? If only we could turn time backwards and replay the crime. Isn't that one of those, uh, clockwork socket things right <laughs> behind you? <laughs> What's this matter, bro? Fucking, it appears. The narrator has changed so they ah, can't move anymore. So it is. No wonder everyone here is suddenly struggling to move. Uh, traveler, if you please, let's uh, recreate the crime scene. What is this? Goofy ass one. I can't make heads or tails of it. Just keep your eye on him. What do you mean? Well, the detective threw something down and he fell. Well, that clears it up. Cape was walking along the street, then he suddenly collapsed. He was faking it. What? So case closed? 
Aren't you supposed to investigate a little more first? Well, we just saw what well, happened. We literally replayed the crime scene and saw it with our own eyes. There's no need for any evidence gathering or powers of deduction now. And besides, no, maybe the, the truth we saw is you, inherently Jack. strange by nature. Like how Constellation Metropole has three histories, each of which is the truth. But didn't you say Cape was struck in the back of the head and knocked unconscious? For all I know, he could have bashed his head against the toilet bowl before leaving the house, then walked here in a daze before finally passing out. Yeah. As for why he might have done to... that, my guess is... Is... With the Supreme Clan question left unanswered and the tension in Constellation Metropole suddenly wiped away, he was looking to create a new source of conflict. Only then would the city feel alive again. Uh, do we really think he's capable of that, though? Sounds like a pretty complicated conspiracy for the average Simulanka resident. Yeah. Traveler, Sounds like something a about the crime scene isn't sitting right with me. It just seems unnatural. Yeah, that attack them. Also, anything outside of the immediate area won't have appeared in the replay. Is it possible that something was missing from the scene? Well, why don't we search the area? Someone threw something across there. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, we're... Uh, we're gonna head to Cat Bay's house to check the toilet bowl for signs of an impact. Let's see. What exactly did I do on the table? Where did my spear go? Hello there. Uh, have you seen my spear by any chance? Someone was shouting about a dragon a minute ago, and I instinctively threw it into the sky. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, genius guards. Goodness gracious. A pickaxe? There's no gotta more. be a story behind it. Let's take it. Remember, no more throwing your pickaxes at people. I hate people in your pickaxe. There's a spear here. It looks so mysterious. Let's take it. Hey, you're uh, you're not from these parts, are you? Just visiting. I love all the, all the voices. Yep, yeah. that's right. Why? They get like all What's the voice up? actors in the game. Ah, really do the well, I was gonna offer you a great job in the titanium mines. A safe and secure working environment. Uh, doesn't sound very safe. Uh, at least not as safe as being a courier. To keep the titanium ore intact, we use specially designed pickaxes that can't cut through it. Even if you struck a person with it, it wouldn't so much as leave a scratch. And in terms of labor intensity, the work has been rated as class two physical labor by a reputable organization. Even cats can do it. Class two. What's I'm class not... one? Ugh, never mind. I give up. Welcome to Paimon's world. This is, we don't, no one knows what Why the hell you, you are. About I don't know what happened today, but somehow a pickaxe has gone missing. Maybe one of the giant guards broke it down, so someone took it to perform a rapid resuscitation procedure. This sounds pretty brutal for a first aid technique. Still, his a voice sounds pickaxe. like a damn Aww. infographic ass. Is it just me, traveler, or voice. does it seem kind of suspicious? Yeah, it does. Then again, everything from these sons of bitches is suspicious. <sighs> come here. Well, whatever it is you were looking to buy, please do come back tomorrow. It's just, I have to close early today. A bottle of growth serum has gone missing. If someone's stolen it with the intention of harming others, the consequences no, sir, could be disastrous. Oh, like a There's a whole it investigation into it, so I gotta close the shop while I do an inventory count. If it turns out I'm wrong and I miscounted, I could be charged with filing a false report and disturbing the peace. Hey, but how are you gonna get punished for fucking... There's a strange potion bottle here. Looks so weird. Let's take it. All right, key rubber up. Let's say one of if these burglar, was the weapon used much in the assault. Stuff. Which one do you think it is? 
A weapon used in the assault. Pickaxe. If it was the pickaxe, Cafe sure is lucky it's not still lodged in his head. We can't hurt each other. Actually, pickaxe. you're wrong there, Paimon. The yeah. But you could probably knock someone out if you hit them hard enough. And it wouldn't leave a scratch. Yeah. Let's take this back to the crime scene and replay it one more time. Ah, you're back. Through the bottle. That was a toilet at Cafe's house. Toilet? What about it? Oh, oh, yeah, um, forget that. What this pickaxe? What's this about? What are you trying to say? We thought the way Cape fell looked odd, so we searched the area for suspicious items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed out of range of the crime scene so it wouldn't show up when we replayed it. Now we've retrieved it, we were gonna replay it again. You don't mind, do you? Oh, uh... I, I just remembered I forgot to turn off the clockwork switch in my kitchen. Oh no, you stay right there! Uh... Oh, just narrator detective. We should be good now. Okay, he's still knocked out. Let's see uh, this man fucking pain manning a fucking pickaxe at the back of our boy's head. Oh, fucking boomeranged it. That's some good art. Bounced it off the wall to the back of his head. Talk about a good aim. Oh my god, God is ass. So, it was you! <laughs> uh, I would congratulate you for cracking the case, but since I did such an abysmal job of covering my tracks, didn't exactly have your work cut out for you. So, all I can say is... Is... Catch me if you can! Yeah, he's fast. Is he gonna leave our boy in the street? We have a runner! That's it! Let me at him! The would-be Marquis of Carabas dispatched the Necromaster Boots who ran off in pursuit of the poor little minion. The minion's poor little lower back was protesting painfully against the intense physical activity. He decided to take the elevator, giving him a moment to catch his breath. We got her ability to take like 14 minutes of Really? His lower back asked. But the minion had no other choice. He resolved to make the jump down. By this point, the necromancer in boots was gasping for air. The minion was huffing and puffing even more loudly. But, uh, we'll ignore that. I'm not! Don't underestimate the gold level courier of the Comania Express! <gasps> A characteristically catty response from the Neko Characteristically catty? Tell me, what do you hope to gain from bullying me? I get to let off some steam! <laughs> oh, good. Ha ha! You fell into my trap! Oh, and uh, by the way, remember the uh, glue you got stuck on when you first entered the future Marquis about to be? That was also me. I did it using my powers. You did it using my powers. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous of you guys right now. You can just jump out of your shoes and keep running, but I... Wait, I'm where... The unnamed minion made a last-ditch escape attempt. He began his long, cruel, long, long crime. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. Up the wall. The, the tall... The tall wall. He began his long climb up the tall wall. <laughs> Bro, he sounded like me. that a tall wall? <sighs> ah, I surrender. <laughs> You've got nowhere left to run. All right. I confess. Welcome to the dialogue space. That was better. fast. 
I'm getting caught the other by you here was a backup plan. I don't know if what I've done will make things better or not. How's your voice Time change? to come clean. I am the narrator, the one who's been guiding you all this time. My mind is blown. You're overdoing it a little bit there. Anyway, I only did what I three did voices because. Why are you suddenly spilling the beans? I poured my heart and soul into all this. I was worried you wouldn't ask. Love the truth is, I was one of the first conscious beings ever made by the goddess of creation, and I've known for a long time that this whole world is just a fairy tale written by the goddess of fate. Hey, he knows the sky is fake. I know they say that fairy tales are just made up for kids to read, but I refuse to believe that fairy tales are just fictional stories and nothing more. The reason why Constellation Metropole has three origin stories is that the goddess of fate wrote three drafts and couldn't decide which one she liked best. Then her cat trod all over them, and they all got crumpled together, so the three worlds just sort of folded into one. The goddess of fate was torn between them anyway, since she couldn't decide which ending was best for the dragon or the kids. So when she saw what the cat had done, she simply decided to go with all three. Interesting. Who would have thought? Well, what does any of this have to do with what you did? In fact, the Nick of You're not a fictional two, character, so you couldn't also. hope to understand my sorrow. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in all of Simulanka who would understand. Every day that I experience, every interaction I have with another person, is it really all just a work of fiction? But he can hop out of the world. The only reason the three great clans wanted to find out the truth was for the pointless task of electing the supreme clan. I thought that once they'd learned the truth, it might make them curious enough to investigate further. But as it turned out, they just accepted it and carried on living the same old lives. I have to motivate them to keep looking for answers now that they think they've learned the truth. I have to make them uncomfortable with the superficial explanation that they took at face value. And I have to figure out, once and for all, while you real people from the outside world are still here, are we real? Aww. That's my full confession. Time for you to take me back. I'm guessing I'll probably be forced to make a public apology, then sentenced to half a day in solitary confinement. Half a day? I definitely deserve half a day. Oh, also, pass this message on to Cape, Boberano, and Albizzi, if you could. The Great Clockwork Key was originally put in place jointly by the ancestors of the three clans. If the three of them had any ability to cooperate whatsoever, they'd have been able to remove it by themselves. Over all these years, not once have they ever tried removing it together. Oh, my poor child. There's one thing you've been mistaken about this whole time. Ah! Whose voice is that? D detective Was that you? Your voice acting's actually pretty good. The reason fairy tales are suitable for children is that they help them to understand the world. Fairy tales may be works of fiction, but at their heart lies an internal logic that is undoubtedly real-world truth in a condensed form. Perhaps they simplify good and evil, and perhaps they hide the darkness in metaphors. Wow, here we go, the entire but explanation of Genshin no story. doubt. The world within fairy tales is as real as can be. And by extension, you and your compatriots are also. Let's talk about that layered lasagna story. Goddess! Is it. First layer really is. You? We're talking the about line the story that separates of Sibilanka. footnotes from narrative second, can never be crossed. Never the two shall meet. This is this. why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break free from the story. And there's a cat nearby, so you can hear my echo. Necromata. She can Just speak to cats. Your echo. Yeah, because she's long gone. So like. Oh, poor detective. So. We are a part of the real world too. I mean, he got his answer, and he can enter the real world. I don't know why we don't bring that up to him. So we need to show the scene, okay. No smiling from the victims and the friends. No, 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 don't get us there. That's a nice shot. Oh, that's a nice shot. 
The weirdest photo experience of my life. That's a good. That's a good shot. I like that. But that's cool. It uh, highlights the uh, like we talked about before the story elements and the uh, idea of the narrative fiction and that fairy tales can hide the reality with them. <sighs> Didn't think we'd be seeing that. Spinning. Directly stated. Uh, I'll beat we, you. Just oh, a quick rundown of the situation because of we find out. Caught the detective. They're directly Soda. stating it. We yeah. chased him until he surrendered. Oh, and he asked us to pass on a message. Does he really think we didn't try that? Cause we did. After six months in that place. Ah, that was my bad. I thought it was a stupid idea at the time, so I didn't really exert myself. I, uh... I also sort of stopped trying after three years. <laughs> How many years have they stuck Remind, in the mind? I'm partly to blame as well. On the second attempt, I just hugged the key and pretended like I was pulling as hard as I could. Uh, you guys are so lazy. My granny's neighbor's pet cat has nothing on you, and it spends all day, yeah. every day, sunbathing. Uh, anyway, uh, you said you heard the voice of the goddess of fate at the end. Whoever does cat has a great That's voice. Amazing. There is a world beyond our own but, but after all. Emotional tonality. What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? He gets it. Otherwise, I got bashed in the back of the head for nothing. Depends. Do either of you know how to get there? But yes, I agree. We should go and not invite the detective just to annoy him. But maybe the reason we've never worried about whether we're real or not is that, unlike him, we weren't there to witness the creation of this world. We've never had any reason to doubt that we're real. If someone ever convinced me that these delightful dimwits, Cape and Albizzi weren't real, oh, I'd be devastated. <laughs> Look at that. That also, that once again, ties into the, uh, two days later, ties into most likely what's gonna happen in that one. What is it? We see the world with your true eyes, your real eyes. And if we engage with a sovereign again, the sovereign that was there when the power was usurped, you might get that type of thing where the clans are looking for, like, how are our clans created? What's the truth of our clans? Blah, 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 blah. And they go to asking a sovereign for that, like, where do we come from? What was the origin of the world? Maybe we'll get that. So you're not supposed to investigate in Sumeru or ask about the original words and the origin of the world. That's another thing we could be getting. Hey. Things to come. But I like that. Yeah, I like that she got she explained like the narrative the idea of like what the whole point it's the whole point of these quests. Yeah, they're fairy tales and they're very simplistic, but the whole point is that they allude to a deeper meaning, not only the story, but everything about it. Ah. This Nicolata. I wish we got a. Uh... Now oh, we got to return the key. Other than that, we did it. This is a good stone. Wasn't it? The characters are very dynamic and funny. How people are saying it's probably one of the best quests. Yeah, it could change our personality. Each one. This is when they want to do quests like this, where it's not focused on. The main characters and we're focused on NPCs. How do the NPCs be like this? A trio that bounce off each other. Each one has a unique personality. They all think. Trout the rolls. In theory, it should be over now. One mental state into another. Interesting. Is that the point? That actually alludes well to the detective and our narrator. <laughs> That's how we end. Now we return the key and it stays there in the semi long room. The three chairs. With the, with the manuscript. Hey, is there an achievement for three people sitting? 
Okay. That was good. Once again, these quests badass. When they're done like this, it highlights the emphasis on what the story of how fairy tales tie into the world and the idea of fairy tales and how they can tie in and just just because the story is simplistic to you because you're too stupid to comprehend it doesn't or you're just a child or at the mindset of a child doesn't mean that the story itself is not an advanced story or not saying something worth hearing I didn't even swap teams, bro. Forgot to swap the damn team. Let's see if we can't go in here. We can't go in there, bro. No. No secret to be had. Put it away. Okay. I wish we got that out. What's it? Uh, Nahida. Yeah, if you jump with her, she makes chiming noise. Yeah, she like... You hear that? She chimes. Yeah, she like... Very nice. Anyways, we're done here. Hey. Good boy! Video's over, stop watching. <laughs>